It's 2 a.m. You need a snack. Not just any snack, but a snack from the land of the rising sun. You head to the largest Japanese megastore in Singapore. One of the snacks that I like is this. I don't know what's the name of it, but it's this mini hamburger biscuit. Don't Know Donkey is big in Singapore, in every sense of the word. Its largest store is a third of the size of a football field. It has over one million customers thronging its 15 outlets daily, and 13,000 different types of items on its shelves. It's a bit overwhelming because I feel like everything is just like staring at you and there's just a lot to take in. It's very messy. There's a lot going on at you at once. It feels very claustrophobic. It feels a little bit too tight. It's like a mess. Yes, we intentionally would like all shoppers in Donald Donkey to spend even more time looking through the products. So there is a method to the madness. Welcome to the mind of a mega store. You might think you know all about them, but you have no idea. Don 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 donkey. Don don donkey. Da 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 da. Don 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 donkey. Don 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 donkey. Oh, that's all I know. I refuse to sing it. You're not gonna make me sing it. <laughs> The song is called Miracle Shopping. There's two versions of this song. One in English, one in Japanese. The Miracle Shopping song. I see, I would never have guessed that. The Miracle? Shopping song. Shopping song? Why Miracle? I go inside, I'll come up with Miracles, is it? The original Japanese version is actually sung by Maimi Tanaka. The Singapore version is actually sung by Lumina Ishikawa. When I'm free, I take myself to Dong Dong Donkey. Dong Dong Donkey. All we know about Nude Miller is that she's delighted, infuriated, and hypnotized Singapore shoppers in equal measure. So annoying. <laughs> Catchy, but annoying. Highly repetitious, but very smartly done so. It is one of those that can be on loop repeatedly and it sticks in your head. The Miracle Shopping song is not the only song being played here. However, this is the song that's most played. Probably um, within the 15 minutes in our store, you actually hear two to three times. So the music playlist in the store is actually arranged by our IT team, which is a mixture of Japanese songs and our Donkey Miracle Shopping song. But for at least 10 hours in a day, you'll be plagued by this tune. Dun, 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 donkey, dun, dun, and it's not just because they want it to be an earworm. When you shop in Don Don Donkey, so I believe you'll hear the song on repeat. I think it will subconsciously be in your mind. It might still be ringing in your head unknowingly. And when you remember the song, that's where you would uh, probably make another trip down. And when you are shopping and you're hearing this song on repeat mode, it kind of make you get lost in time. Welcome to the Gruen Effect. The term was coined in the 1970s to describe how shopping malls sneakily distract their customers into staying longer and, yep, you guessed it, buying more. Today, every mega store does it. But Don Don Donkey's taken customer distraction to a whole new level. We not only want you to shop for your essential, but we want you to go on a discovery adventure. Don Don Donkey crams thousands of Japanese products under one roof. And some are downright weird. Okay, so what we have here is actually a dental peeling sponge. It actually helps to remove the stains on your teeth. Do you know what this is? Does it look like a paper to you? It's actually a big fish snack. It's slightly finished with soy sauce and there's a very strong seafood flavour in it. So this is our latest addition. is crab ice cream. It's savoury as well as sweet. It really reminds me of a cold steamed snow crab. 
Don Don Donkey might be a treasure trove of chaotic delights, but another megastore operates on absolute order and control. This is Decathlon, where neatness rules. And there's a reason for the order. This is Pal. Don't worry, he's not here to overthrow the human race. Well, not yet, anyway. Pal is your friendly neighborhood stock checker, and he knows where to find any of the over 5,000 items stocked here. Paul is uh, our inventory robot. You will actually start after store closes. You will run for maximum six hours, and we will do the full inventory for the store. Pal is 1.7 meter tall and it comes with wheels at the base and at the front it is equipped with an infrared camera and two RFID scanners at the side. The cameras are actually meant for the robot to navigate around the store and to actually capture obstacles so that it can avoid as and when it detects an obstruction. Every product in the store comes with an RFID tag. So what the robot does is to go around the store and it detects all the RFID tags which is available in the products itself. It will capture all the data for us to see all the full stock picture of the store. Pal does more work in one night than what seven humans do in one month. Wow. Where can I get one of these? Uh, actually, Pal robot definitely have some limitations. Pal accuracy is as good as a correct placement of the products and ensuring that all products has an RFID tag to them. Wait, so PAL still needs us mere mortals? Also, the limitation of the robot is it can't go over a raised platform or go down or up the staircase. Poor PAL's not to blame. After all, they did design him without any needs. And when PAL's night is over, his steady efficiency paves the way for this to happen. You like, you click, you buy. Within two hours, you can pick up your purchase at any of the nine click and collect stores. In a single day, Decathlon fulfills about 400 such click and collect orders. Items are picked, packed from its largest store in Kalang, and sent to click and collect stores around the island. But wait. Why would that many people really need instant access to a hula hoop, yoga pants, or even a yo-yo? Many reasons. Uh, for instance, you have a futsal game tonight, uh, and then you realize your boots is spoiled. Also, you have last-minute plans that requires you to get some sports equipment. And lastly, who doesn't like getting the order in two hours? Who doesn't? Meeting your sporting emergency needs are pickers like her. How fast can I pick an item? You want to find out? Let's go. We have to actually memorize a bit of the layout, basically where the items are, so that we can go to the, the place when we want to get the item. So it's easier for us. I'm only expert in one department, so whenever I'm stumped, I'll just get someone from the department to help me. Lah. There's no specific timing, but it's best to do it as fast as possible so that we can always keep it to our two-hour delivery promise. Lah. Have I ever missed a deadline? No, we'll always be on time within the two hours. Every product in Decathlon is stacked with an RFID. If you pick the wrong item, it will reject once you scan. Once you verify all the orders, you click on the icon for printing. It will generate a label for you. The drivers will be coming on every 30th minute, starting from 10.30 all the way to 7.30. So a total of 10 batches in a day. So we have one hour for operation, 
and then one hour for the drivers to deliver the item to the click and collect doors. That's how we manage to make sure that it's two hours. The weirdest thing that I've had to pack was maybe a pack of rubber bands, only one item, and that's all. Yes, but that's no weirder than this. This or this. Who's making up these crazy names? Does it sound Japanese? It sounds vulgar and Hokkien, but I mean, like... <laughs> ah, Kuechua. Water bottles. Right? Noah. Kuechua. Uh, um... Ben Raizo. I have no idea. What, what is it? Ben Raizo? Uh, camping. No. Mm. Ben Raizo. How do you spell it? So, Van Rysel comes from the word Lille and Lille is our first uh, decathlon home where we design and uh, assemble bikes and also test the bike. And Van Rysel represents the cycling series that we have in decathlon. Nabaiji represents the swimming range that we have here. The word Na, which represents natation, refers to swimming and Baiji refers to the freshwater dolphin in China. Keep run comes from the contraction of keep on running. It's a mantra used by some of the marathon runners. Therefore, we name our running shoes keep run. First, do mios. Do represent the way. The mios represent the heart and the muscle. With both combining together, do mios represent our fitness range. It adds some values and characteristics to our decathlon names. Decathlon does have more than 5,000 products covering 70 different sports. Well, if you count this. Patang is a French sport. And add this. Technically, camping is not a sport, but it is correlated to hiking and trekking. Every year, 3,000 new products are designed by Decathlon's wizard. Like this tennis racket that reduces impact vibrations by 50%, preventing tennis elbows. A stand-up pedal board that inflates and deflates. A table tennis net that can be set up in five seconds. And something that sets up in even less time. Just two seconds. Okay. Ready and go. So that's, what is this? It's not two seconds. I got it. Hold on. How do you do this? Oh! This is not right. No way this is two seconds. <laughs> no, not this. There you go. Yes! Oh, it's upside down. Ah, there we are. 90 seconds, but that's okay. You know, geniuses take a little bit more time. <laughs> now, let the expert show you how it's done. Basically, you take it from the bag. You throw it in the air, it landed, and your tent is done. And that's it. It's really like an umbrella. That took more than two seconds to set up. Isn't that false advertising? Because the first one we were released, it was very simple, so it really takes two seconds. But afterwards, if the tent has a more feature, the principle is still the same, so they keep the name, so it's kind of branding now. So one of our most iconic products from Decathlon is an easy breast mask. Why we do snorkeling is to see what's going on underwater, and you want to share it. Then, of course, you cannot talk. This time, when you do snorkeling with a face under the water and the snorkel sticking out, you can talk to each other when you do snorkeling with a Bluetooth device that is very easy to pair. Oh, without sign language talk. Oh, right. No way! Where's the microphone? Huh, what would I say? I don't know. I'll just start talking to the fishes, I would assume. Endless innovations are the only way Decathlon keeps its shelves full. Sometimes, items returned by customers also make a reappearance. If the product is not working, if they are not satisfied with their products, as long as you're a member with us, you will be entitled to get a full refund, regardless of the time, regardless of the condition of the product. 
What that means is that after five or ten years later, when the product is worn out, you can still come back to us and get the full refund. Some returned items are sent here to be given a second life. So this bike was recently returned to us. I'm going to perform a safety check on this bike to see if this bike can be sold as second life. I would say that this bike can still be resold as Second Life, just that I need to do some cleaning and some servicing on the bike to make it uh, as good as new. Returned items that can be resold are put back on the shelf at markdown prices. Everyone's a winner! If you return an item which cannot be used anymore, we will take components and materials of the product and then we will uh, turn it into another product. Like turning this into this. Don Don Donkey is creative in other ways, like how it prices the same thing differently in different outlets. There are different prices for the same item that you might be shopping for in different Don Don Donkey stores. Down Down Donkey isn't just famous for endless piles of products. It's won our hearts by being dirt cheap. We are widely known as the discount king. Stack them high and sell them low. But there's more for you bargain hunters. Yes, you. Here's an insider tip coming up. There are different prices for the same item that you might be shopping for in different Don Don Donkey stores. Different store managers, they do have the authority to set the prices. This crunch chocolate, two for six ninety, which you probably can't find in other stores. Okay, so in which of the 15 Don Don Donkey stores in Singapore can we find the lowest price for this highly popular snack? Our house brand, Sweet Roasted Chestnut. Fragrant taste, crunchy texture. Usual price six ninety. At Gem, we are selling at four fifty. Hmm, we're taking notes. Now, what about the cheapest Albi cereal? Or these potato sticks? So, if you are looking to bargain hunt, you have to go to different stores to look for the cheapest price for your favorite snacks. Well, that's a little annoying. You can forget about winning my vote for staff of the year. <laughs> Looks like we'll just have to get into store exploring. But be warned, once you're in, you might never leave. It's very common for customers to get lost, but that is also one of our intentions. <laughs> because when you are lost, that's where you start to discover things that you've never seen before. Most shops are designed to gently guide their customers. But Dong Dong Donkey is different. It's a retail trickster where every store is designed to confuse and mislead its bargain hunters. Just don't forget your GPS. Turn left at the next exit. Our store is designed like a maze. Our cars are not in straight line. You get twists and turns and many corners. Our founder came up with this idea. And amongst this calculated chaos is yet another sneaky trick. It's time to move. Wonder why you could never find that bag of chips you love? That's because products here don't have one fixed spot. Products get moved around all the time. We normally put the products at multiple locations. This is to maximize the exposure for the customers. So if they happen to miss a corner or miss a point, they might miss out on the product. No worries, because the next turn, you might find the same product. We like to place our popular items at different corners all over the store. So to give you an example, we have our Mount Fuji Alfred Chocolate Biscuit placed here, as well as here and right at the bottom of the shelf. So that customers can actually discover new items or interesting items at very, very unlikely places. Don Don Donkey's endless Aladdin's cave of budget bargains only works due to its army of hard-working staff. But one of its most treasured employees came very close to getting the boot. But fear not, he was so beloved in Japan that customers got into a major flap. They started an online poll and threatened a boycott 
if he was fired. So in the end, mob rule won, and he kept his job. Yep. This is the stuffer that nearly got axed. Okay, it's the donkey. That's the mascot, right? So this is my colleague Dom Pen. That is my sleep paralysis demon. A penguin? Is that a penguin? Dom Pen is a penguin. Why a penguin? Uh, actually, we don't really have an exact answer for that. But he was actually created by a POP artist in Japan. So something interesting about him is his height, his width is all 98 cm. And also in every store you go, there is a variation of him, not just one single look. Don Pen even has a sidekick. It's his friend, and the name is called Donko. Don Pen and Donko aren't just eye candy. They have a pretty important portfolio. He's their pop artist. Eh? Pop? POP is just point of purchase. Most of our products here are in Japanese, so they might not know exactly what is it like, how to use it. So that's why we create all these interesting POP around the store. Don Pen's job is to bring words to life. The foot care and the hair dye with the donko with seven colours on the hair to exaggerate the product range that we are selling. Also same for the shampoo and conditioner, the long sleek hair. If we're selling exercise equipment, then we somehow add more muscles to it. <laughs> this bath don pen is actually drawn by our Japanese POP writers and we didn't know that it will be such a big hit. Okay, so can you draw Don Pen? You're doing something Singaporean, ah? You should be sitting at a hawker centre table, carrying all the bags, but not the plastic one because now we use tote bags. Get him doing some TikTok dance. Uh, okay, guys, don't go overboard now. Ah, I see where you're going with this. 